these are the full install instructions you can come back to the beginning of the video and read them so you know what to do We're going to be adding lateral support with the DTT2Z. We actually have to come back um, since the joists are perpendicular. We have to go to back two bays. First bay is right underneath here. Second bay is here. So we got to cut out this section. I already have the blocking in there from when the front was open. Otherwise, we'd have to cut in here too. And then we got to put in blocking. And since we can't nail from the top. All right, pull out the insulation. Always be cautious because you never know what's above. Remember to cut this bay too. I don't have to because I had access from outside and I made those cuts from the top. So my blocking is right there. So this is the line we're going off of. So I'll take this measurement and I'll transfer it over here and that's gonna be where we draw our hole and put our block. With this open, you can clearly see what I was doing. I was supporting this joist so that I could transfer to the second story. And that's how I was able to uh, support the second story. So, just our luck. This is a double joist. And it nailed it exactly where I'll be drilling a hole probably probably right there all right this should be our support our blocking on the other side you probably won't need to do this because yours will probably open on this side as well um, but like I said full blocking full blocking a full width and the placement of your lateral support is going to vary on your band joist and your deck ledger on where it is because you don't want this rod to be tilted in you want it to be tilting out so if water ever gets on it it'll want to go out not in If you're not going to have both bays open, drill this hole bigger because when you put the rod in from outside, it's half inch. We want it to try to get it through this hole and without the bay open over here, it's going to be really hard. So make this one bigger, the outside, make it, I would say, similar size. And you might need to open this up if you have too much trouble fishing it through because there's a lot of insulation in there too. Wireless pour camera really came in handy. Just put it in the hole and watch for the all thread. And now I can push it through. We got our block, we pre-nailed our A35s on, used our nails. These are the ones they want us to nail into the block. And then for the screws, uh, you can use a half inch, number six. It doesn't say how many, but I just did the offset pattern so I'll probably 
do the same thing here, but I'm going to use actual longer screws because the floor is like two and a half inches thick and I could get away using these. You can use half inch. It says you could use half inch. So put it like this. I'll get it in there. I'll toenail it. If you can't toenail it, get some structural screws. Um, I have nails and a palm nailer, so I'm pretty sure I can nail it. And I also have structural screws. I put this back here, so I can put this here. I could have did it reverse, I could have put this here, put this back there, it's whatever. Leave a little room for rod to go through here. I'm going to do this after so I could toenail it. And I'm going to have to use a 90 to uh, screw these in because these comes with a kit. So here are quarter by one and a half. So here we go, we got the A35s in. Got toe nailed. There's wires here, so watch out what you're doing. Got it toe nailed here. Those are three and a half inch nails. All right, time to put the bracket in or the lateral support. I'm gonna pre-drill. Install supplied washer. Nut, bolt. And we did our layout, so here to here. I was to put it here uh, 16 on center but I think I moved to this side for 14 and then from that side it's right at 12 so it's 12 so each choice is 12 12 12 12 12 and then I went 16 but I placed this as far as I can that way because you have to be within two feet of the edge. Um, so you have to make sure everything is uh, mapped out before you want to install these. And I couldn't go any further that way or this way. There's a vent pipe, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, right here, there's a water line. There's wires running underneath. Same with the other side. There's a vent, a drain, wires. So there was a lot of planning on where this went. Um, this one being 14 inches or 16, it's not gonna matter. Uh, we're using really high quality decking and everything else is 12 and nothing's really gonna be here besides a barbecue. So walking on it, it's basically never gonna happen but 16 on center is still good for the uh, timber tech advanced decking that we're using. To waterproof to all thread, back the nut off, push it out. Now we're gonna put sealant about an inch and a half, two inches and then we're gonna put it around and then we're gonna shove it back in. All right, we got the outside one installed. Now we can tighten it up. There is no torque spec that I'm aware of. So just tighten it down and we are done. Make sure it's in line. You don't want this bracket at like an angle. You want it exactly with the all thread. And you could use whatever you want here. Clear silicone. I always use paintable silicone. So if I want to, I could 
paint it or whatever or stain it.